What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the JC Wings October 2024 releases. Still within September here, the last week or so of it, and we did have a pretty interesting announcement from JC Wings for October, so let's go ahead and take a look at the 1 and 200 section. Sure so enough, we have a Fly Scoot E321 Neo and a Prime Air 737-800 with these splits. A normal and flaps down release is being done here. Then a Lufthansa 747-8i. Bit of an interesting CGI. It looks a little off, but again, just CGI, so we'll see how the actual aircraft turns out. We have a Garuda Indonesia E330-300. It looks like a special sticker just underneath the passenger windows. Interactive Airbus Beluga XL, number 3 on the tail. And then an Iran Air 737-200. That does pique my interest since it is retro. City of Everett is being done by JC Wings here. This is the... Uh, one of the many test livery variations that existed when Boeing had it. China Eastern A350-900 below that, along with an Air China A320 Neo. Next to that, we have an OK Air 737-800 and an Air New Zealand 777-200ER with the old livery. And then an Etihad A380 with a special sticker on it. Ooh, part two starting off nice. American A300. That is awesome. Love to see that. Hopefully they do a 400 scale release because I know the one that Aero Classics and also from Dragon Wings, those are very hard to find. Then we have a Condor A330 Neo with the blue livery and a State of Kuwait A340 500 below that. Alitalia Ember 190 with the Sky Team livery, Korean Air A321 Neo, and a KLM MD-11 in the final livery that they wore. Then we have Tibet Airlines, Airbus A330 200. <clears throat> Excuse me there. And then we have a Swiss Embraer 145, I believe that is. Then we have an ANA 747-400D. This is in the older liveries with the older titles. We have Latam A320 Neo with the Brazil livery on it. And then a couple flaps down and future releases up next. China Airlines 747-400 in the old livery. Saudi S787-10, the new special that was announced recently. Then we have an LL 747-400 in the old livery, and a future release LL MD-11. Now, it showed up as an American release as well, so I imagine the registration on it will be American in this case, so probably at least airframe in that case. So now we move on to the 1-400. to We have a, a blanked aircraft, uh, Bravo Dash Hotel Papa Delta, so I'm guessing it's like a Cathay A321neo, and I guess obviously because Cathay Pacific is very stringent on licensing they're not going to show it. There we go. Nice release. Aeromex Con Connect Embraer 170. I've been needing one of those in 400 scale, mainly the Embraer 190, so I think I will be picking that one up in the future. I'm going to wait until they're in stock, though, before I order it, because I know JC Wings is very inconsistent with these pre-orders. We have a Slovak Republic Fokker 100. Very nice to see that. And I think that's a uh, Lungair. A321 Neo, it's very tiny text on the photo, and then the Instagram to compression does not help matters. But it looks like it's a special livery with a nice light blue background and then a white section there in the middle for some decal. I think it's what, yeah, whatever's on the tail. Looks like a, I don't know what it is really. Avianca Cargo A330 200 P2F. It's got the little hump there on the nose. United Star Alliance 764. Very interesting. And then we have a fantasy here, a Flying Tiger 748. That just does not look right to me. I'm sorry. That does not look right. And why they chose to do it on the Intercontinental Mold instead of the Freighter Mold is a bit beyond me because I think they're mostly a, they were mostly a cargo airline, albeit I think they had some charter operations too. Then below that we have a Japan Airlines A350-1000 getting a flaps down release as well. Cathay Pacific Cargo 747-400 Freighter Interactive with the um, like green polish or so, like that primer livery. And then a China Southern ETR-72 below that. Next up, we have an SAS A321 in the new livery. I think, yeah, Gemini did that one before, if I recall, but maybe that was a Neo. I know they did do the Neo. I don't know if they ever did the regular 321. And then we have a Thai 777-200 in the old livery. British Midland 737 Classic, that looks like a 400 there, maybe a 300. Fly Pacific Blue, Embraer 190, and then a Polar DHL 748 combo. Singapore A350-900 with the 10,000th Airbus aircraft sticker. 
Saudi at A321 Neo in that new livery, which is essentially the retro livery. So nice that they chose that for their standard. ITA Airways, A220-300. And then in Air China, Comax C919. And then China Eastern, A340-600. Better City, Better Life, special livery. I remember seeing that on an old LAX plane spotting video from years ago. So nice to see them doing that as well. And there we go. Those are our JC Wings releases for this month. I'll go ahead and see if I can grab a uh, um, text list of some kind. I do know that they are a little bit behind on posting some of the uh, text lists, so I can't I can't seem to find one right now. So um, we'll just have to work without them for now. So just going through the releases again. Um, one to two hundreds looking really nice. I like that Prime Air seven three eight and the Iran Air seven three two because that's kind of that's retro and that's sort of my mojo, even though that's well outside of the region that I typically collect from. City of Everett's nice to see from them. That's, that's another manufacturer doing it. Um, considering NG announced it for their NG Light, and then there's also a I believe it's a Patriot model or like an HX model release. Whatever other brand has also done it as well. American A300, I hope they do that in 400 scale, or maybe Gemini will get to that in the future. Who knows? That would be really cool to see. I know the 400 scale A300 mold that Gemini used is just a revitalized Jet X mold with upgraded landing gear and added antennas. And then just checking out the other releases, I do like that China 744 in the old livery, and that LL as well. Those are also nice, and that LL MD-11 is very interesting. I believe that was the least aircraft from the U.S., if I remember right. And then over in 400 scale, Air Mexico Connect is going to be a must because there are several airports in the U.S. that do get them. And for my random model airport series, it'd be very helpful to have that, even if it is not exactly the right type. Because the 190, I know, is a little more common in the U.S., but that one is just impossible to find. So I'm going to have to just get the 170 and deal with that until someone does a 190 or if I can find one for a good deal. Who knows? And then Star Alliance uh, United 764, also a good choice there. So that likely means Gemini is not going to be doing it. I think, yeah, Continental is still the one that we're waiting on for someone to do. So hopefully that's sooner than later. I don't even know what's up with the Flying Tiger 748. Again, I think I think a freighter version would have worked better because um, they had several of those. And then FedEx had them for a bit when they merged. So it, it, it just does not look right. And it's, you know, that's really off the table for me personally. I can't, I can't stand those kinds of fan, fantasies. And then over in the second section, not too much to report on really. Um, but I do like that Chinese Eastern E340 as it gives me that nostalgia for an old LAX plane spotting video. I think it's like the Zinger Airshow Media people. Um, they have a really good old school LAX plane spotting video from 2009. And I remember seeing that livery in like the first minute of the video or so that I would always watch. I never watched the entire thing because it's like 40 minutes. Um, but I'll have to sit down one of these days and watch that whole thing just to kind of invoke that nostalgia back into me, if if you will, since I used to watch a lot of plane spotting videos as a kid. And I still do today, but just not obviously not the same ones that were around back in the day. So that's all my thoughts on the JC Wings releases. Definitely getting the Air Mexico Connect whenever those show up at retailers. We'll see when that is. So happy to add a JC Wings. Finally, a new one into my collection. So this will be my first time. Not necessarily pre-ordering a JC Wings, but just getting something out of a new release. Because, again, I've been needing Air Mexico Connect for a very, very long time. I'll be very happy to add that into my collection. So expect perhaps an unboxing on that. I don't know when exactly. It will likely be a while because I don't know when these are supposed to arrive. It's certainly not going to take a month, but whenever it is, I'll order it when it comes in stock. So we'll see what happens. With that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.